And these shows don't just happen. Uh, and today's show was produced by our coordinating producer, Astra Austin. Now, she and her team have produced many of our most important stories. Very involved in the anti-bullying series that we've done with cyberbullying and in-school bullying. Astra has been very passionate about that. And even a show that had a Dr. Phil first. Now, before I introduce you to Astra, which I want to do, because I want you to see who's behind the scenes here, let's take a little peek into her life. I am originally from New York. I'm the oldest of four girls. There were no boys in our family, so our father treated us like tomboys. I have a whole host of interests. I like painting. I have a couple of paintings that I am really proud of. And I decided to become more fluent in French because I actually studied it years ago. I got the French award in high school. And I'm like, you know what? I want to go to Paris soon again. Before I started working at Dr. Phil, I worked as a segment producer at a really fun show called Soap Talk. I would have two objectives. I've been at this One show for eight seasons. Parents. My friends asked me about the guests because the stories are just so amazing. And I tell them that it's just people who email the show and um, it's really easy in a way to tell these stories because they're no different from any one of us. I had some of the most controversial guests in my show. I had Tamika Rashawn from The Bully Show. I had Kalud from The Monster Law Show. And I had Josie from The Spoiled and Entitled Show. The show that touched me the most was titled Spoiled and Entitled. The show was very emotional. The guests were passionate. The audience was reacting. and. We actually had a Dr. Phil first. One of the audience members felt compelled to walk from the audience to the stage to talk to Dr. Phil. And to me, that meant that we were, as a show, effecting change in um, someone's life. I have to feel passionate about every single topic that I do. If I don't feel passionate about it, I'm doing a disservice to Dr. Phil and to Carla Pennington, the executive producer, and to Kathy Giaconia, my senior supervising producer, and my team. I have a senior associate producer, Kia Mason, who books the guests along with me, and I have a researcher slash production assistant, Brooke Semeca. She books for any single factoids, anything that can relate to the topic. She also helps us book. And I have a senior segment producer, Tammy Frymark, who is amazing. I adore her. My family are very proud, and they like that at this particular show, it gives me an opportunity to effect change. I choose to work at Dr. Phil and stay here because honestly, this is what my spirit is telling me to do. This is my soul's purpose at the moment. Meet Astra Austin. Astra, come on out. Did, did you pick the walkout music? I, I had to. Yeah. I had to. <laughs> and I didn't really walk, I kind of like ran. No, but, that's you know. good. It's different from out here though, right? Yeah, it's kind of um, good. Well, you're liking this. <laughs> watch it, watch it, watch it. All right, so you take this really seriously, yes. don't you? Yes, yes I do. You fight for some of these guests to get on the show, don't you? Because yes, I mean, do. and because I'll say sometimes, no, I don't, <laughs> this doesn't fit, I don't you like know. this. You never mm -hmm. take no for an answer the first 30 or 40 times. Um, yes, <laughs> yes. And then um, Dr. Phil gives me that look and I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the final look, right? Yeah. All right, but, and Steven was exhausting on this show, right? Yes, Steven, you know, Steven, I, I know he's here or whatever, love him, but he, it was, he was difficult and he came with conditions. And you know, I had to be respectful of him and the process and also of Dr. Phil because just because he's, it's all about him. Yeah, there's Steven right there. You're seeing him now. <laughs> We're talking about him. I got my glasses on. Steven, can you hear me? Yeah, hi. Hey! <laughs> uh, the face, uh, the voice. So Ash hey. is like your new best friend now, hey. right? I mean, you yeah. guys have known each other. That's right. You heard me yeah. call you difficult. Did you hear that? Yeah, you threw me under the bus. Wait, uh. <laughs> 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 I kind of did it to your face, to satellite. Yeah, okay. to satellite, right? Yeah. All right. I'm, pl I'm proud that you're here. Thank you. I'm proud that Thank you're here. You. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Ash. Awesome. Bye.